up you guys and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be talking about a sneaker that released earlier this year is probably in a lot of people's running for sneaker of the year as far as packaging goes it is the best release in quite some time for me and this just might be in my top five when we get to the end of the year when i do my wrap up top five pickups so without further ado let's talk about the nike air jordan one low trophy room in the away colorway also called the trophy room rookie card for those who don't know the reason why it is called the rookie card because of this guy right here i wish that this was the original 1986 fleer michael jordan rookie card that would be worth quite a lot of money this is actually a fleer decade of excellence 1986 to 1996 card that is worth probably about $40 but it still looks dope it still matches and it still helps tell the story which I love so much all right so before we talk more about the construction of this shoe which I'm a huge fan of let's talk about this packaging because again like I said I think this is the packaging of the year as far as sneakers go at least I have interest in right here from the jump we got that beautiful cream colored Nike box love that it's got that discoloration there throughout it official edition on the side we've got the red and blue stripes all throughout very good looking but on the inside inside the box top chicago skyline jumpman logo right there very very cool the coolest part is this little insert here this is what the shoes came inside of i'm sure most of you have seen this because videos for this shoe have existed for quite some time but this tissue paper that is supposed to re resemble the FLIR 1986 pack is so cool. I love a good story, especially when that story translates to a product that I'm very interested in. And again, what I love about this is here we've got what? Premium issue right here. One pair of shoes, two extra lace sets inside. We got the Trophy Room logo right there. And then on top, the Jordan Jumpman. So again, just really cool packaging. And to me, that really does set really any product apart from something else. If you guys have watched my channel, you know that watching that Futura SB Dunk Low video, my biggest gripe with that shoe was that the box was just basic. It was the generic cream Nike SB box, and I thought they missed a huge opportunity. Packaging on this pair is incredible, but let's actually talk about the materials because that is where this shoe stands way above and beyond the large majority of Jordan releases this year. The craziest thing about this pair, and I think what really sets it apart from a lot of the other Jordan releases, is of course you've got this satin that's going all around down to the toe. And this is definitely something that I feel like people are either going to love or hate. And for me personally, it's actually what held me back from getting this shoe earlier. But then when I started seeing more videos, hearing more about the shoe, I was like, I just need to see this in person. And I got to say, I think it actually looks fantastic on the shoe. I don't think it looks bad. I don't think it looks tacky. I think it's just the right amount. And it really goes well with these premium materials throughout the actual shoe. So this is almost like a suede or a new buck. No expert, so I'm not 100%, but it's definitely, and if it's leather, it definitely doesn't feel like it. It's got a really soft premium feel. Here, of course, we do have the leather, very nice. I really like, again, the swooshes, the black swoosh going into that black heel. I think that just looks really good, especially with that gold Air Jordan Wings logo there embossed on it. I just think it's a clean, clean look. Something I wasn't expecting, the tongue is actually like, I really like this. So as a Nike Dunk SB fan, the tongue is actually really squishy. And I actually think because it's not as thick as the Nike Dunk SB tongue, it's actually going to help me give some additional padding that a lot of these Jordans don't usually have. It's usually a very thin tongue outside of maybe that deconstructed tongue that's become very popular in more recent years. The materials that Trophy Room and Jordan brand and Nike collaborated on to use, I just think it's a home run. You've got that Michael Jordan signature right here. I kind of like the black on black. It doesn't make it look so hokey. Sometimes I think signatures on shoes don't look great. However, I do think it did come out fantastic on the Trophy Room Jordan 1 highs. Yes, subtle flex. Having both pairs, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty cool. Don't know. Well, yeah, this is probably my favorite of the two. 
but this is probably more wearable. I'm more of a Lowe's guy anyways. High tops, I just, again, wide foot, breaking them in. The materials on the highs, it's definitely a more constricting shoe. So again, I think that this is going to be easier to break in and easier just to wear really throughout summer weather into the winter. Nike, in my opinion, for once, knocked it out of the park. I think they did a phenomenal job. Even the insoles here, do that trophy room there with that cool yellow. Look at the other ones. I think it's blue. Yep. So we got blue with the Jumpman logo. Both shoes. Just making sure. Yeah, I think they are the exact same outside of the insoles traditional Jordan 1 low bottom here and it just looks great the red really really pops on these I think again especially because of the fact that you've got this satin all the way around it just adds that premium classy look to it making this sneaker one of my favorite drops for sure this pair did come with two extra laces like you heard me say from that box art we got a yellow flat wax lace set and a white flat flat wax lace set try saying that three times fast comes obviously with the black flat wax lace set and i do think i'm going to stick with the black pair if anything i would go with yellow or at least one shoe that has yellow one shoe that has black this is probably one of the best releases of the year the best story the best packaging and maybe the best premium qualities of any pair that i've seen or that i've been able to actually have in my possession i would give this a solid solid ranking i think if you're interested in getting a jordan one low the pricing on these is not terrible Compared to other pairs, especially compared to the Travis Scott Lowe's, outside of the Canaries, every single Travis Scott is over $500. These, most sizes you can get right around 350 to 500. Definitely a much more attainable pair. I would absolutely grab these if you have any interest. Well, there you have it, you guys. Thank you again so much for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate all of you guys who like, comment, and subscribe. It does make a difference, truly. Let's have a conversation if there's anything I said that you don't agree with or if there's anything that you want to say that, yeah, I absolutely agree. Drop that down below. Let's keep talking sneakers. Let's have fun. Appreciate you guys once again. Peace and love. Thank you.